Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Same flavor. Folgers decaf hazelnut. Well, today it's going to be 78 degrees right in my Goldilocks zone. It's going to be partly cloudy and there's no rain in the forecast. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so today I have to get out there and do a little watering. I've been lax in watering my garden because it's been sprinkling and raining, but I think it needs some supplemental water yet. So today I have to go out. I have to do a couple different errands. I'm not going to the store, at least I'm not planning to, but I might go get some ice cream. I'm not sure yet. So I'm supposed to be selling my dishes that I put on Facebook Marketplace. So that was part of my plan. I'm selling everything but four sets of my favorite dining room dishes. So there's no reason to keep a set for whatever it is, 12 or... But anyway, um, I had it on Marketplace. I looked on eBay and they were kind of, kind of expensive. I mean, they weren't like real good dishes. I had gotten them at Kohl's and they're pottery dishes, which I really like them. But I don't want to keep a set for that many people anymore because I don't entertain for that many people. So anyway, I put them on Marketplace and then I, after about three weeks, I think it was, I, I dropped the price from $150 to $60 and got a response almost right away. And so I'm meeting the lady at Panera parking lot so uh, I feel safe doing that and the parking lot there isn't huge so I'll be able to find her car and she'll be able to find mine so I'm really happy about that um, I have donated dishes in the past but uh, these were kind of special to me so I wanted to see if I could sell them so we'll see hopefully she shows up you know sometimes people want to buy something and then they don't show up but it seems like, you know, she was creditable. But who knows, you know. Anyway, I'm going to have some of my coffee here. Cheers. I've had this mug for quite a while. It was in my dining room um, credenza. And I figured, well, I think I'm going to use this mug. And I only have one of them. And I think it's really pretty. It's kind of fall-like, but today's weather is kind of fall-like, so I thought that would be very appropriate. And I like the mug. So anyway, that's what what's on my agenda today, and I did not go to the library and drop off those books. So the library is on the way. I'll drop off the two books that I have and go on to... Uh, the mall to Panera. It's actually an outside, it's not inside the mall, but um, I will drop off those dishes and I will be very happy to get more room in my curios where the dishes were stored. Less to take care of, less to clean. So anyway, that's going to be my day for today and I'll see if I can get a little bit more stuff put up in the attic. Um, I still haven't put those pillows that I bagged up yesterday up in the attic. So I need to do that yet. And then uh, I'll probably be done for the day. Oh, I have to cook up some tomatoes too. I'm, I'm getting quite a few tomatoes that I don't want to go bad and I can't eat them all just as a tomato so I want to make some sort of a sauce out of them. So all right I will meet you at the budget book in a little bit after I 
get my thoughts together and do my morning pages and I still have to pack up the dishes. All right, I will be back. Okay, here we are back at the budget book. So yesterday I did not spend any money. So I'm on a roll. I don't know, that might change today. We'll see. We'll see when the time comes. But hopefully I will be getting my money for my dishes. And uh, that's another thing out the door. So more decluttering. Although I wouldn't really call that clutter. That's more downsizing. So there's a difference between clutter and just downsizing your things. Clutter is stuff that you have hanging around that just doesn't have a home. Downsizing means you're streamlining what you own. At least that's what I think the two of them mean. What does it mean to you? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm not going to get more library books today. I want to really focus in on my um, downsizing <clears throat> and decluttering so that I can uh, finish up the upstairs bedrooms and um, linen closet is done. Shoes are downsized, at least for now. I'll go through them again, maybe in the spring. But every season I like to kind of go through my things and see what else can go. So that's the plan anyway, and every year it gets a little bit easier to let the things go. And when I'm figuring out that my life is a little easier by having less stuff, it makes it better to let things go. So I have to go pack up my dishes now, um, put them in a box, get them in the car. I have to meet this lady at noon, so I still have several things I want to get done here before I go. So that's the plan for today. And my kitchen table is actually still clear. That's a first, too, because usually by now it's just loaded with stuff. Now that is clutter. All right, so I will be back later, and fingers crossed that the dishes are gone. Well, here are all the dishes that I'm getting rid of today that I'm selling, and I really love this pattern. I think it's so pretty, but it was just cluttering up my curios so now I have way more room in there and I still have actually a service for six I thought it was going to be a service for four but six is okay so there's much more room in here now and the other half the other three are in here so I'm happy with that and who knows, maybe next year I'll get rid of two more sets. I'm not sure. But for now, I'm satisfied, so that's good. All right. All right, well, I did end up stopping at Aldi's on the way home. After I dropped off the dishes, the lady was very nice. And I told her that I actually have two more sets of the same dishes if she wants them. Because I only wanted to keep four, but I actually sold eight. Um, I sold eight. I wanted to keep four, but I had six left. So she says she wants those two, the uh, extra two, so that way I'll only keep four. But this is some of what I bought at Aldi's. It, I didn't buy a whole lot. This spinach and goat cheese just sounded really, really good. I haven't had pizza in a long time. And it was only $4.49, so I picked that up. The um, ice cream, yeah, I was on an ice cream hunt. The ice cream sandwiches and the ice cream were $2.49. Um, the hummus was $2.49. 
and the Havarti was a dollar eighty nine. But but wait, that's not all. I need to put this away in the freezer. All right, so here's the rest of what I bought. I hadn't really planned on this, but it was things I was running low on. I only had two apples left in the way of fruit, and um, they had uh, cherries for a dollar ninety nine. So I picked those up again because the season's so short. Um, and I got green grapes. Those were ninety nine cents a pound. And let's see, the grapes were two sixty six, and the cherries were four fifty two. And then I picked up also romaine hearts because I don't have any lettuce growing in the garden. I have to plant some. So that was two sixty nine for the three heads. I didn't think that was bad. Um, the sourdough. That's expensive. It was four nineteen. To me, I think that's expensive, but it's worth it. Their sourdough is pretty good. The pita bread was two ninety nine. I had a taste for some pitas, so I picked that up. Um, the fajitas, the tortillas, they were a dollar ninety nine. So I picked up a pack of those. Um, the potato chips, they were, hmm, well, they were something, oh, two nineteen. So I didn't think that was too bad, considering Lay's and all the other ones are just ridiculously priced. Uh, and I bought corn chips again because I really like corn chips, and I like to eat those with a sandwich. So I picked those up, and those were, um, I just saw them, $1.69. And then I also picked up this coffee. It was $5.99 for 18 cups, and that's a vanilla creme brulee, so that sounded good. And then these mini golden round crackers. I'm almost out of crackers. At least this kind of cracker. Um, it was a dollar. Oh dear. Let's see. Well, it was a dollar something. Dollar sixty-nine. So that was it. Other than I did buy a couple of non-food items. I got a uh, spray shower thing to bathe the dogs that I can put on my faucet out in the garage, a new faucet that I just got, so maybe I can bathe them out in the garage. And I also got, let's see, the faucet was $14.99, I'll show you that in a minute. And I got a quesadilla maker. I had one years ago that I used to like, and I loaned it to my daughter, and it got lost somewhere in the move, so it was $16.99, so I picked one up, and I'm going to use that with these flour tortillas. So that was it. So with those two items and all the food I got, I spent $78.99. All right, well, while I was out, I also stopped at Dollar Tree, so I'll show you what I got there after I get everything. All right, well, this pizza looks pretty good, so I'm going to cut it up. Yeah, I picked up this, this knife at Mark's a while ago. So I'm going to let this cool off a minute, and that really looks tasty. All right, I'll be back. Hey, well, <clears throat> this is pretty good. If you like goat cheese. Mm-hmm. I usually don't eat until about five, but 
all that shopping made me hungry. So, let me show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Well, first of all, I went into Five Below because I was looking for, I really hadn't intended to go into Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree is right by Aldi's. They're like right, almost right next door. So I thought, well, if I go into Five Below, I won't have to go into Dollar Tree. I'll just run into Aldi's. But it didn't work out that way because what I was looking for was pencil sharpeners because every day I write my morning pages uh, in pencil and I always have to sharpen my pencil. And the pencil sharpener I have is getting kind of dull. So that's originally what I wanted. But what I found was actually something that I've been wanting for a while and I've had it in and out of my cart on Amazon and um, because it was kind of around, I think it was around $16, something like that. But when I was looking around five below, let me show you what I got. And it goes right with my vibes from the living room. <laughs> I got a disco ball. I was so excited to see this for $5. So I picked it up, and it's nice and shiny. So I got that at five below. So see, it pays, it pays to wait. And um, I've been wanting one of those for a long time. So another thing that I got, I got another uh, phone stand. I like these. They, uh, you can do your phone either way horizontal or vertical and I got this one for um, just to put in another room of course now I can't get it off of here but anyway it's like this one I keep this one on my kitchen table and you can fold it flat and has different heights that you can put it so I like these. I use this all the time. So this one will go into another room where I watch my phone. So I got that. I got two packs of batteries because I'm always using batteries because a lot of the candles I have are uh, the electric battery candles. So I got those. <coughs> Oh, she's on a roll this afternoon. So Dollar Tree did have pencil sharpeners. So I got a whole pack of pencil sharpeners. Now I can keep one in the kitchen and one in the living room because sometimes I like to write things in the living room too. And I almost always write in pencil because, uh, you know, you make mistakes. Now I got these. I got two of them, and they're like the lime green and a little bit of orange. And this is going into my living room. I have a couple of little globes that are already hanging up in front of the window. But I thought these two would look nice in there. And I'm going to put some white little pebbles in there and a few pieces of sea glass. So that's what those are for. So I got those, and I got two of these chandelier bulbs. I put a, um, a light on a little table that I got out of the attic, and I don't have a whole lot of these bulbs, so I picked up a pack of bulbs. Most of what I bought was practical, so it's not real exciting. I bought this um, sanding block. And it comes with um, 10 sheets of sandpaper. I want to use this on the little table that I brought down from the attic to rough it up a little bit. And then I'm going to, um, I have some spray stain that I've had forever. So I'm going to use that 
and make it into a dark wood to match the chair that it's next to. So I got that. I picked up some more of these for when I um, do my winter sewing in the bags, in the baggies. I use these. So there's a hundred in there. That should be enough. I still have some in the garage, but I figured this way I'd make sure to have enough. And I picked up this strengthening nail polish remover because I use that all the time because I polish my nails all the time. And then I got these two um, little shelves. They're light with a macrame cord and wood. And I want to put these in front of my window as well. So I think that'll be all right. And then I got this little, I guess it's a votive holder, but I got this because it matches my little set that I have here on the kitchen table. And I keep like pencils and things. And I have one, but not like that. This one matches. And then I bought some more packing tape, and I bought these little, these little leaves. I'm going to put these on one of my macrame hangings, just to make it a little more interesting. So that was it. I spent $20.25 at the Dollar Tree. So now it's time to get back to the no spend. So, I don't think I have to go out anymore. The lady that, did I say this already? The lady that bought my dishes, I told her I had two more sets that if she wanted them, she could purchase those two. And she said she did want them. So, um, she said she'll contact me the next time she's by Great Northern. And, um... I'll sell her another two sets. That way I'll have four sets of, of the uh, dishes and that's plenty. I don't need six. So all right, I'm going to eat my pizza. I'm hungry. I don't know why because it's kind of early. Yeah, it's three o'clock so eh, well I'll eat an early dinner. So, all right, I'll be back later. All right, well, here is the pet shower, and it says it has a 10-foot hose, and that was $14.99. It attaches to your faucet. So, I don't know. I'm going to try it. It's got a holder. I'm going to give it a try and see. I do have a drain in my garage, so and I do have warm water out there, so maybe that'll work out okay. If not, then I'll just return it, I guess. So I got that. Here is the quesadilla maker. That was sixteen ninety nine. It says recipes are included, easy to clean, nonstick plates, and easy lock latch. So I like the other one that I had. So I figured this would be for a really easy meal. It's 900 watts. I'm going to take it out of the box and see what it looks like. All right, well here it is. It's not huge. It's, uh, you know, for um, not for the real big burrito style uh, quesadillas. It's just for smaller quesadillas, which is what I wanted. And um, it has the sections, which is good. So my tortillas that I just bought should fit nicely in there and section it off. And it, it's nice. I think I'm going to like it. Um, the recipes has uh, cheese and salsa quesadilla, spicy quesadilla, looks like it's pretty simple, and it even has veggie quesadillas, also comes in Spanish, the instructions, and it has an apple pie quesadilla. 
So that all sounds good. Ham and cheese quesadilla. There's not a ton of recipes in here, but eh, it's enough. You can put anything in a quesadilla. Uh, it's got a breakfast quesadilla. Cheese and beans. Ricotta. So that's it. $16.99. I think I'm going to like it. And when I use it, I'll show you how it works. But that won't be today. Today I had the pizza, and that's going to be my dinner. And I won't be hungry for anything else except some ice cream. So, all right. So, all right, my friends. That's all I have for you today. Um, I was going to buy one of those shower sprayers anyway. Uh, I was going to go get one at Home Depot, but I probably would have ended up paying more at Home Depot than, than this one. I thought $14.99 was very reasonable. And I had asked my daughter for the quesadilla maker, oh, a couple months ago, and she said, Mom, it's probably packed in a box somewhere. So if she ever finds it, she can use it, the kids can use it. And I figured, well, this way I can just... I'll just get another one. So, anyway, um, I'm tired. Shopping wears me out, and I didn't even do that much of it. But it's time for me to go put my feet up. I think I'm going to have another cup of coffee and some ice cream. That sounds really good. I just bought plain vanilla this time. I like to eat that with uh, cashews and a little tiny bit of chocolate syrup. Not too much chocolate syrup. And that is really yummy. So, all right, my friends. That's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching.